All right, welcome to Creator Hardware, and today we're talking about, well, building a virtually silent server rack. Now, silent, it's never going to be 100% silent. You've got fans moving air, you've got heat, etc. Building a rack like this, you have to make concessions. There's just no way around it. Used server parts are generally going to be out. You can't have Delta fans screaming at 10,000 RPM under load. This is my office. This is where my wife works from home. I edit videos, I play games. I can't have Delta fans screaming in the background. I just can't. So you have to make concessions on the equipment that you use. Now I did a video swapping out the fan on this 10 gigabit ethernet switch. Swap that out, noise levels much more tolerable. In case you haven't watched my channel before, I've got two network switches, a gigabit and a 10 gigabit. I've got a TrueNAS scale server here. It's my video NAS. I've got a Proxmox server here, and then I've got a Unraid server in this for you. In order to make the rack as silent as possible, you're gonna need to go to commercial hardware. Commercial ATX power supplies, SFX power supplies, Noctua fans, Be Quiet fans. Now currently, the two noisiest servers in here is the Proxmox server, my Unraid server uses a stock AMD cooler. Unfortunately, when I swapped it over to a rack case, the Be Quiet cooler I was using in a PC tower doesn't fit. So I, had, I just had to swap that out to get it completed and back up and operational. I need to swap that out. Now the Proxmox server, the fans are running pretty high. I've gone in the BIOS, set it to silent, re-verified that are set to silent still makes a little noise. So it's the, it is the noisiest server in this rack right now. And you're gonna wanna swap out any case fans that come with any of your cases. Now the Unraid server case came with case fans, Molex powered, threw those immediately out, replaced them with Be Quiets. So it's a much quieter experience. So quick note, normally in my videos, I use processing to eliminate lower noises, get rid of air conditioning, fan noise, etc. I'm not going to be doing it in this video. And that's why I'm sitting right next to it is so you can actually hear how loud the server is while I'm talking and doing this video. It's not bad. It's like sitting next to a computer that's air cooled, but there's three of them. Now the battery backup that's in the bottom of this server is basically there for ballast. It's not used because it is obtrusively loud and I've got a battery backup. It's just a desktop style behind the rack, simply because I can't have that much noise when I'm editing, etc. Now they all are running. I don't know if it'll come up on camera, but all three of my servers are running. And this is the noise you're gonna hear. I mean, my mic may not be able to even pick it up. Very quiet. The battery backup is a no, <laughs> just no. So it is on battery backup, just not the one that's in the rack because it just will not, the fan will not shut up. Now, one of the issues with where my server rack has to go is because of, well, ethernet. This house does not have any Cat5, Cat6 ethernet anywhere in the house except from the outside wall to that wall right there, that's it. And that one, <laughs> that one was modified by me to make it. <laughs> so in order to use 10 gigabit here in the office between the various PCs, it has to be here. Because of that, I can't have it in like in the garage, upstairs room, anything like that, because I would not have full throughput. In order to get it off site, I would have to do something to fix that situation. And chances are it'd be, uh, Eero hook to it and then just put somewhere else, but I would never be able to get two and a half gig, 10 gig, etc. And for editing needs, I need at least two and a half gig. So that's why I had to focus on building a silent server rack. So if you want to have something like this in your own home lab, you're probably going consumer, knock to a be quiet fans, eBay and all those are probably gonna be out. There are gonna be some exceptions where the servers actually don't make that much noise at idle and under mild loads, but you're stuck if it doesn't. <laughs> and now one other caveat about having three PCs 
well, a total of six PCs in this room is heat. Doesn't matter, it, they use electricity, they're gonna produce heat, that's why you have to have cooling fans on CPUs and GPUs and all that. For me, not a big deal. This is the coolest room in the house. <laughs> this is literally the coolest room in the house. So it's, you're gonna need to keep that in mind. It's gonna heat your room up. So that you can't fix. It's the way of life. Either you shut them down, let your room cool off, or you deal with the heat, or you turn the air conditioner down. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching. This is Creator Hardware.